involved shooting in Pueblo. Tonight we know daily operations at the Pueblo Police Department are taking a hit. As several officers are now on paid administrative leave. We're also hearing more about the shooting from neighbors who heard it all happen. News I Sam Kramer has their story live from where this happened. Sam. Yeah, Elizabeth, a police spokesman wouldn't say who or how many officers were involved in the shooting that claimed the life of 35 year old Joe Alira Delira Alira's excuse me last night. Now some of those families that lived nearby heard everything as it happened and tonight they're still reeling after that deadly shooting. Right away we heard gunshots. We knew they were gunshots because we've heard them before in this area. The Alvarado family returned home to fix a flat tire last night when they heard gunshots. It's a problem they've experienced more than they'd like to in the last five years, especially with three grandchildren living inside, all under the age of 12. I hate to have them come outside by themselves because it's not the first time we've heard it. It's really scary. Monday night, a woman called Pueblo Police claiming her ex was outside firing shots into the air while she and her children were barricaded inside. Uh, as officers arrived, they reported hearing multiple rapid fire coming directly from the scene itself. That's when the suspect got into his SUV and fled, leading police on a chase down East 4th Street. Delira Alirez continued through a spike strip attempt before officers successfully executed a pit maneuver to disable the vehicle. From there, the suspect fled the vehicle on foot and was running uh, approximately one block armed with a handgun and firing multiple rounds at officers. And then the officers used lethal force. We heard probably like 10 gunshots and then they stopped and then I don't know where we heard like probably like 30 plus gunshots and we saw cop cars everywhere. Tuesday, the 10th Judicial District Critical Incident Team spent the day collecting evidence on the massive crime scene while those living nearby hope for less violence in the future. I really don't like living here anymore. So again, all of those officers were placed on paid administrative leave, which really is the standard procedure for this type of case. We'll continue to keep you updated on their status as we learn it. Always watching out for you in Pueblo. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5. Sam, thank you.